It's that time again where I show you how to install the latest version of X-Ray which has now been updated to 1.17.1 as it's on the current and very newest build and version. This is updated fairly quickly and we're going to be covering the mod side of things first which most people refer to and know it as classic X-Ray mode. Now of course before starting this I just want to give a disclaimer that this is technically a cheat and I don't recommend using it on multiplayer although I am going to show you an example on setting it up and showing it if effectively in action. I don't personally use this on multiplayer and although the methods in this video will show you how to do so, I do recommend at least take into consideration fair play and don't ruin other people's game. Personally it's your choice how you use it, I'm just going to show you how you can install it. So we're going to be covering the classic x-ray version which is on this link which every single link which we cover will be down below and it's on the original x-ray mod thread which was originally an abandoned mod back in 1.11 which was originally for 1.6.4 but it's been maintained for quite a few years now by this French, I believe a French user, I'm not 100% sure, called Dromar Libanisseur. He submits and updates brand new builds of this mod and ports it to the newest version of Minecraft. So basically, he's released the newest version for 1.17.1 and this is unofficial without the permission of the original author. All of these versions work. So basically, to install it, you just want to click this link here. I will leave a link to this thread, but I will also leave a direct download link to the media file link here which we can just click on download and download this straight away now we'll press keep you can just literally left click it and open it but you may have some problems with opening it like this and you may have some problems with opening java files directly so just go to your downloads folder or wherever you put it and you want to right click it press open with and press java and we can open it now as you can see it says an error has occurred please check your installation and try again so if you get errors like this it's recommended that you reinstall java now if you have java problems i recommend just going on google and pressing java download and just going to download java and i will put this in the link below if obviously you've been playing minecraft in any form on java edition and you're not new to java you shouldn't have this problem now i'm just going to reinstall java and just see if it resolves our problem and if it doesn't resolve your issue do leave a question or comment below and I will respond to you and try and help you out with any problem solving. So I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall this and then we're going to retry install an x-ray. Most people won't have this problem but I'm just running through any solutions and possible fixes so you guys don't run into any issues. If you don't have any issues you can just skip ahead and get into the action of installing x-ray. I am going to show you the options though and how to set everything up and how to whitelist and blacklist the blocks which you want to show and the blocks that you don't want to show and then in the later segment we will take a look at the resource pack version which should be pretty interesting now as you can see we have an out of date version which is on the system so i'm going to click uninstall and this is probably what's causing the conflicts although i'm not 100 percent sure so i've detected an out of date version and uninstalled it and now we can go ahead and it should have installed java now one more solution is to install java 16 if you have this issue, this is because the brand newest build ever since the Caves and Cliffs update is actually on Java 16. So to install Java 16, you need to install the Java JRE or the Java SE development kit, which you can get by installing the Windows 64 launcher, which we can download here. I'll try and remember to include this below too. And this will install Java 16, which is the very newest version, which you should actually have installed as a requirement to run the new version. So this is a problem, as you can see, some people say installing Java 16 will also fix this issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and install Java 16 and we're going to proceed to the next version. As you can see, we're going to run through this guide and press next and install and we're going to install Java 16. If you haven't run the Caves and Cliffs update before, I would recommend using this step and doing this beforehand just so you make sure you have all the required files that you actually need for this process. Another four note, which I didn't mention as well, is after we've installed this, open up the launcher itself where the x-ray profile will install to and make sure you actually have the latest release which is 1.17.1 if you haven't installed it make sure you install it by running it at least once and when you've run it then your computer will have the files and it will remember running the game at least once which means that everything should install correctly you might have some problems with the installer if you haven't actually ran the newest version once at least on this launcher for an example i don't use the normal minecraft launcher i'm usually using gd launcher which is a modded 
version which allows you to install mods a lot easier obviously because of the reason of me making mod videos so I'm not sure if I've actually ran 1.17 before so I'm just going to go ahead and run it once on the normal vanilla launcher which we'll be using in this particular video so I've ran this at least once and I've installed Java 16 so we can go ahead and retry the x-ray launcher now as you can see now that we've done a little bit of troubleshooting and I've explained the whole situation and all the bunch of fixes that you can do to fix this issue now we actually have a working x-ray installer which opens up and we can select the version we want to install it to I'm just going to select the vanilla version because I know that it supports that and it might not work with forge so select the normal vanilla profile also if you have problems with double clicking on the jar file and it not opening up or opening up with something like WinRAR you can right click on it press open with and then Java platform SE binary to open up and get this window so press install and rename whatever the new profile needs to be and press OK and it installs it super quickly just like that. Now the next step would be to close the Minecraft launcher and completely reopen it and then when you reopen it you should have a brand new profile in the bottom left here if you've done everything correctly. Run the game first and install Java 16 and Java 8 optionally and then we can just press play. Now if you don't have Java 16 this is a must have. Java 16 is what fixed this issue. We installed Java 8 first but that was just so we had Java in general to play the other older versions of Minecraft. So now we can run it and I'll show you how to set it up and just prove to you that it's generally working. I'm going to show you how to fix the keybinds because that's an issue when you first run X-Ray and the settings for us to configure it. Okay, so we're just going to join any single world. To save a little bit of time, I'm just going to go ahead and join this normal world over here and press play selected world. The key method to know everything is working as it should be and it's functioning is in the top left hand side, you should see two sets of values which appear on screen which shouldn't have been there initially before installing it. So the first one is obviously in purple, which is the FPS. So that's the performance of the game, which is the frames per second. And then also the green text below Below it which is the XYZ value which is basically the coordinates of where the player is. So now we know that since this is showing X-ray is working and if we press the J key on our keyboard you can see it pops up with a menu okay so from here we can tick to enable x-ray to make sure it generally works we can enable and disable coordinates to hide them and show them we can enable the zoom mode which is a really good thing which i'll show you how to use and we can enable fly on key press now we can also press k finder and i'll go to the k finder mode and we can also press x-ray we can also press plus and minus and we can enter the name of the new profile and just call it x-ray one and this adds a new profile, but the main one is obviously X-Ray. So there's no blocks which is shown right here right now, but let me show you the controls. So let's press Escape, Options, Controls, and we want to scroll all the way down to X-Ray, and you'll see two buttons are in red, which means they won't work. So the Fulbright key, which is L, the X-Ray key, which is X, these are not going to work. So we need to go up and find which keys are using them, and click on it and press Escape to clear that key, and do the same for X. And then now they won't be used by a different command or process, so they should work for X-Ray. So the main keys here, as you can see, there's a key bind for the new profile we created. And we don't really need this, but that was just an example. We could also press a key for fly mode. So I'm just going to press the mouse button, which I have. You can just assign this to any button. And we have L, X, J, and V. So if we press V, this will activate the zoom mode so we can zoom in on any blocks or features, which is really useful for videos or just seeing things really far into the distance that we couldn't usually see. There's also C, which is the cave finder. So this is a little bit different to X-Ray. It basically shows all the caverns and all the tunnels underground without showing the ores most of the time. You're mainly just seeing things like lava, water streams, and deep cave pockets, which is really good for finding underwater caves and really cool cave generation systems underground. So that's the cave finder. You also have the L key, which is full bright mode. So obviously you can't really tell if this is in effect unless it's nighttime. So currently you didn't really see much of a change apart from the sky. If we press L again, it goes super dark and that's it turned off. And if we turn on again, it illuminates the whole world so we don't need any torches or artificial light. So this is basically how to use the cave finder and full bright features. And then if we press X, it's going to activate X-ray. So now you can see every single ore in the game. And what's interesting is since it's been updated, they've changed it. So all of the new blocks, if I just zoom in here with the V key, all of the new amethyst blocks from 1.17 actually show too. So it's really easy to find amethyst caves or amethyst geodes underground by using X-Ray also, which isn't really the case with the cave finder because it doesn't let you see them. But if you have X-Ray mode on, we can see all those new blocks underground. This is really cool. And if we have X-Ray enabled and we press the J key, well, it's enabled 
enabled, it will show all the blocks which the X-Ray is actually using. So for an example, all of the blocks which are ticked, like coal ore, is the blocks that will show on the X-Ray mode. So if we untick coal, for an example, then coal, when we activate X-Ray again, will no longer be showed, okay? And then if we tick it again to enable it, we turn X-Ray on and off, now coal shows again. So that's how to disable blocks being shown and re-enable them. So this is how to configure and use X-Ray. This is how to fix all of the key binds which are broken when you first install it and all of the buttons to press and all the options which you should be running to get it working optimally as it should do. So now we're going to move on to the resource pack version which is a lot safer on servers if you do plan to use a multiplayer but it's a little bit less feature rich and it's a little bit weaker in comparison to the mod version. Okay so when we install the X-Ray resource pack we're going to optimally choose the x-ray ultimate pack which is the one which i always tend to recommend people now x-ray ultimate is the best x-ray resource pack and basically it allows you to see all the ores in a very similar way to the mod although you will see a few different changes when compared to the mod because obviously nothing is going to be as good as a java mod but it still works whilst being a little bit safer. So for an example, we're just gonna go ahead and press download and it says game version 1.17.1 up here. So we know it should match the right version and we have this downloaded. Now, as you can see in the launcher, I currently do have an Optifine profile for 1.17.1 which is why I already downloaded. I'm going to show you how to download Optifine because this is one of the features that we do actually need for this video. So go to optifine.net, the link will be down below, and press downloads and find 1.17.1, which should be the newest version if you're watching this at a more recent date, and press mirror to download it quickly, and press download. So this will download the Optifine installer, so we have to close the Minecraft launcher first, and then press install. And you can open it the same way that I showed you how to install the X-Ray mod in the other part and just press install and it should install successfully. So next time you open the launcher, it should now install a profile for Optifine here. Okay, so we want to run this Optifine profile when we run the X-Ray texture pack because this allows us to actually fix all the problems with that comes with using the X-Ray texture pack. Now the reason why we use Optifine is for the X-Ray night vision effect. This is so we can see the hidden ores and also because it gives a bonus effect when we turn off smooth lighting which fixes some of the lighting and darkness issues which shroud the ores which enables better vision for actually seeing them. So basically we have the X-Ray Ultimate Zip here, which we downloaded. So you want to right click and press copy or cut. And we want to click on the top search bar and type in what I type in, percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. Go into our dot Minecraft folder, go into resource packs and right click and paste in here. And then we can go ahead and run the Optifine profile, which we have just installed in the bottom left corner here and press play. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. Now, instead of having key binds like the mod version of X-Ray, which toggles everything on and off, we just toggle this off and on by just enabling the resource pack in the menu. So it's a lot straightforward, but it's a lot slower to toggle on and off, which is why the mod's better. This version's a lot safer because most servers can't actually detect the texture pack. Like I said, I would still recommend not using this online because it's unfair and also there is always a risk of bans if we have very good admins on the server or people who have a look at what the player is actually doing so i wouldn't recommend using this online but if you want to then i would recommend going for the resource pack version which also tends to not be as unfair because you can't see as many ores as in the mod okay we've now loaded into the world which previously was bright when we used the x-ray mod version so we're going to set this to daytime and as you can see we're on optifine so you can see this really nice sky up here so press escape options video settings and i have no shaders enabled which is good and we want to go to resource packs okay so in resource packs i'm going to turn off this skies texture pack which i have which is the reason for the skies and i'm going to scroll down until we find x-ray ultimate which is here and press the box over here to put it to the selected side which we do by pressing the arrow and then once it's selected press done and it will load the resource pack then all we have to do is enable the right options so we can see all the ores. Now, if you don't actually run Optifine and you're still having struggles seeing all the ores underground, as you can see, if we look in certain directions, it kind of renders the blocks a bit different. So the vision isn't really that great and also has dependency on a few different options. So for an example, if we have a higher render distance, we can see blocks at a further distance, which is also another thing which can help with vision of all the ores, video settings, 
And if smooth lighting is on, which in my case it is, you want to completely turn this off and this will completely illuminate a lot more of the blocks and you'll see many of the ore blocks which were hidden before also reappeared. So smooth lighting needs to be off, you need to have Optifine on or if you don't have Optifine installed, what you want to do is you want to get a night vision potion and I'll just use a splash potion just quicker and easier and once you brood these you can use this and it also unhides the ores too because without optifine or night vision or with smooth lighting on or any combination of these problems all of the ores which you now see in super clearly and super far will usually be really dark and not visible at all so a night vision potion and or optifine optifine being the best option and smooth lighting turned off will fix all the lighting issues and make this texture pack work a lot more better. Now unfortunately with the texture pack version of X-Ray you can't toggle which blocks you want it to show and which blocks you don't want it to show but it's probably the best solution that you'll get. Now if you want to step things up even more you could install the connected textures mod which removes all these annoying grid textures so you can fully see through the blocks or at least improve the vision through these annoying squares so you can take that step further although it's not really needed. This is more of a legit version of X-Ray because the resource pack is less powerful but it's still strong nonetheless and it can be a great option if the mod can't be used on multiplayer for an example or if you have problems installing it or if you generally just want to use just Optifine or if you want to run the texture pack on Forge which X-Ray usually doesn't run well alongside with if you're using the mod then this resource pack version can be the best choice.